Hi, today I'm going to be covering a question that we get a lot from our investors almost every single time we send out a lease renewal, which is, do you need to send out a lease renewal? I'm trying to sell the property or I don't like the tenant. I don't want you to send out a renewal. The answer is we always send out a lease renewal. And the reason for that is every tenant under the Residential Tenancies Act must receive a lease renewal. They have to receive it three months prior to the ending date of the lease. Um, and we're allowed to give a rental increase as mandated, a small percentage by the government each year. If we don't give that lease renewal, number one, you're not, you can't take advantage of that rental increase. And number two, any tenant that doesn't receive a lease renewal, the term actually renews for another term. So if it's a year, they get another year. However, they can then choose to give one rental pay period notice after that. So if we had a lease that was running in a summer from July to June 30th, and we didn't give a lease renewal, then that resident could technically, in November, let's say, give one month's notice, and now you have a vacant, potential vacant property in December, the slowest month of the year, and nobody really wants to move when it's really cold. So those are the main reasons why we always give a lease renewal. Um, and there are many advantages to it, including making sure that uh, you know when a tenant is going to be leaving, because if you give that renewal, then you know when they're leaving if they're not returning it. Hopefully that answered that very common question. Thanks for watching today.